Hello guys welcome to Celebrity News and Lifestyle where we give you the right update and all of what you will like to know concerning our music stars and movie superstars, so if you're new here or if at all you're just passing by for the first time, please take some minutes of your time to subscribe, like, comment and hit the notification button so that you don't miss in any of my uploads. The iconic singer, songwriter, producer, and musician is famous for his contributions to funk act The Commodores. This popular singer, songwriter, producer, and musician is best known for his contributions to the funk band Commodores, as well as hit singles like Hello and other hits like We Are The World. Lionel Richie is undoubtedly a true great of popular music. From his time in the Commodores to his role as a talented and popular singer in the family, he wrote songs that became standards. His music, a captivating blend of soul, pop, easy listening and country, has captivated the world. He joined the Commodores while still in college, and soon after the group signed with Motown, releasing their first recording, Machine Gun, in 1974. Among the group's biggest hits was the single Three Times a Lady in 1978. Lionel began working with other artists and released his first Motown solo album, Lionel Richie, in 1982, simultaneously co-writing and recording the African famine relief record, comma, We Are the World in 1985. Lionel has become an award-winning solo artist with a string of hit recordings. Although initially just one of the Commodore's vocalists and saxophonists, Richie's beautiful voice, powerful and sparkling with emotion, ensured that his ballads increasingly became an important part of the group. And these popular songs need no introduction. Easy Sail On Still and the song that Richie will forever remember, Three Times A Lady. Lionel Richie was never satisfied with categorization, but to make it in American music, especially as an African-American from Alabama in the late 1960s, you had to fit in. You see, I'm a rock musician, Richie told Cream magazine in 1978. When we started out in 1968, if I had it my way, I would have said, turn the amp up to 12 and go. But I can't do that. I had to realize something. The industry is divided into two categories. R and B and pop. The scale of the Commodore's success in America and then around the world left the group's critics completely baffled. In fact, Rolling Stone dubbed the group the Black Beatles due to the extent of their success in the late 1970s. The group scored an impressive number of US and UK singles, including two chart-topping singles in the US, selling over 45 million records between 1974 and 1985. The success of the duet was Richie's song with Diana Ross, Endless Love, 1981, inspired the group. He was leaving the band he had been with since the late 1960s. Richie eventually left the Commodores with his successful self-titled debut album, released in 1982. Working with Commodores producer James Anthony Carmichael, the album contained Truly, a song that rivals the Commodores' finest moments. The upbeat songs Serves You Right, You and the Incredibly Beautiful and Downbeat Wandering Stranger are also highlights of Lionel Richie, the album. By the mid-1980s, Richie had become Motown's biggest and most profitable star, both because of the quality of his material, but also because it was just another case of the company's top artists moving elsewhere. It was certainly the influence of horror films directed by former Motown label mate Michael Jackson that inspired Richie's Can't Slow Down. Released in October 1983, it became Richie's magnum opus. Designed by a great team, it represents the best of Richie the Walkman. Stuck on you penny lover touch, and, for most of 1984, the ubiquitous hello. A BBC.co.uk review of the album compared Richie's role to that of a chef. The late night ethos of Love Will Find a Way is like the musical equivalent of preparing a meal. Good food piano slides here, a little synthesizer there, delicious and sweet. Although the fast paced Calypso influenced All Night Long, All Night is the album's highlight, the riot of sound and color in the video can certainly be considered the Motown label's last truly great work. 45. Can't Slow Down was a huge success, topping the charts on both sides of the Atlantic, 
selling over 20 million copies worldwide and earning Richie the prestigious Album of the Year Award at the 1985 Grammy Awards. It stayed in the UK charts for an impressive 154 weeks. Thanks for watching to the end, if there's something about this video that you like to share, please do share with us. And guys don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share and leave your comment on the comment section below your comments, matters see you next time.